guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be a cosmetology school vlog. I haven't done one in quite a while. A couple months ago, I think, was the last time I did it, maybe October, November. And I made some notes of things I need to go over with you guys. So first things first, my cosmetology school vlog number five got deleted somehow, and I really don't even know how that happened. Um, and it talked about phase two, and... That was when I first started taking clients. Um, I don't remember what was really discussed in the video except it was all about phase two and I was really nervous to move up to phase two to start taking clients. Um, kind of important, kind of not, but I guess I'll kind of just tell you guys what happened in phase two is when you know I first started taking clients and I had one client day a week um, excluding Saturdays. I don't remember exactly what day, maybe Tuesdays? And Saturdays, I think it was. Um, so that's two client days, but everybody has clients on Saturdays, no matter what phase you are in, except for phase one doesn't take clients yet. So that's pretty much what I talked about in that cosmetology school vlog. So kind of sorry that it got deleted. Try my best to keep up with these videos and be as informative and clear and make as many as I can, but sometimes things happen. So in the last one, which was cosmetology school number five, technically, because five got deleted, but it was six. I'm going to leave it as cosmetology school vlog number six. I talked about phase three, kind of things changed, and that's really it. And, uh, yeah. So now I'm in phase four, and phase four has the most client days. We take clients Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so it's three client days. So you're most likely to get at least two clients a week. Um, last week I had two, and sometimes I'll have three, so it all just depends. So, in phase four, you get these really cute phase four shirts that say phase four on the arm. You get short sleeve and long sleeve, and on the back it says remember your roots, like remember where you started, and also remember your roots like hair. It's really, really cute, and I'll insert a picture right here of me wearing one. So as you can see, it's super cute, and it makes you feel special that you actually made it to phase four, and you're kind of like, you know the top-notch people because you are in your last phase. So client days, like I said, are increased to three times. At this point in the game, my confidence is built. There are still things that I struggle with, such as hair cutting. I definitely have more of a strength in coloring than I do in cutting, but um, I would say that I'm fairly decent at both. I wouldn't say I'm the greatest. I am just a student, so I'm not going to give myself too much credit, but I am going to give credit when credit's necessary, and I do believe my color work is really, really good, and I totally love doing color. So at this point, you know, your confidence is pretty decent. You know, phase two and phase three, you're like a nervous wreck of taking clients. Well, phase two for sure. Phase three, you get better. Um, phase four is like, you know, your confidence is at its peak, and at this point, you're kind of just working on your time. Our rubrics are huge. Like, I think it's the biggest rubric. Phase 1 was pretty big, but Phase 4's rubric is pretty big. Basically, practicals you have to complete. We have tons of client grades that we have to get, and on top of that, you get timed on your highlights, color, color retouch, whatever the teacher times you. So, your speed has got to be kind of up to par. So, as far as times that I go, I still go Tuesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Nothing really changed. Right now, I'm prepping for state boards. I take um, state boards March 15th and Tuesday through Saturday. Well, Tuesday through Friday after 2 o'clock, we have an hour to study <clears throat> for state boards. And then at 3 o'clock, we start sanitation, which is cleaning. But for one hour, we get to study every day. And on Saturdays, you can study the whole day before state boards and... The only thing is if you get a client, you obviously have to take care of your client. So you have the whole day you have an option to study, which is really good that they actually have time built in um, to study because if you don't have time, if you work and all that, you know, you don't have time to study. It's nice that they build it in to the curriculum. So I've been kind of really studying a lot at school for state boards, probably goofing off of my friend Stasia more than I should. Um, we set the manicure stations and try to study, but it's definitely hard because we start gossiping and totally have like a girl's little gossip thing going on. But uh, we do try really hard to study. They give us these massive packets and you have to fill out the answers. You have to find them yourselves and the teacher gives you the answer key and you check what you have right and you use that to study off of. And you have your books you can use to study. And I think they actually have online on the computer you could look up uh, state board test, kind of just 
fake tests that you can just practice on. So yeah, I'm really just prepping for state boards. March 15th is coming up in three weeks. So yeah, kind of stressing over that a little bit. Trying not to stress too much, just kind of just trying to study as much as I can and not stress too much. So obviously I'm getting closer to state boards. I have seven weeks till I graduate and I was supposed to graduate in March. And I told you guys that in the last vlog, but due to days missed and snow days, I have my graduation date pushed out to April, which is okay with me. Um, so I have about seven weeks till I graduate as of right now, but that's tentative, meaning it could change if we get more snow. We are in February, and Connecticut has been just slammed with snow lately, like back to back. So we've been having early dismissals and kind of missing school due to it, so that kind of stinks. And you can stay after three hours every week to make up your hours and to push up your graduation date. So. I'm thinking seven to eight weeks right now. I'm including eight weeks just in case we do get a snow day and I don't make it up or whatever, but I'm thinking seven to eight weeks as of right now till I graduate. So that's pretty much everything that goes on right now for cosmetology school. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make another vlog because I have seven weeks till I graduate. Maybe I'll make a vlog talking about my state board experience. I don't know if that's something you guys are interested in seeing is me talk about state boards, how nervous I was how I thought the test was, um, and if I passed or failed. I'm hoping that I pass, but um, if you guys want to see that, I would be sure to do that, but considering I am in phase four, I don't know what else to really do a cosmetology school vlog on. I am going to start looking for a job next month. I'm not sure. I'm kind of thinking either cost cutters or a chain like that, or maybe even a salon. I'm kind of torn, so maybe I'll do something like that too, as well as like a job placement video. I'll let you guys know. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this cosmetology school vlog. Again, just trying to keep you guys up to date with what's going on. This has been highly requested to do another update one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, babies. Hopefully I'm in focus right now. Sorry about that guys, okay.